What's up, guys? Hey, I'm... <coughs> hey, what's up, guys? I'll edit that out later. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? I should... Do I'll let you know on a secret. You know how I'm like, oh, I'm really bad at web-based attacks. I'm actually pretty good at web-based attacks. You just say that. That way people don't see it coming. It's actually the oldest. Like, hey, hey, hey. Whoosh. That's what it is. I don't even want to get into that right now. Um, so, I'm assuming it was Tiffany who woke me up. So, uh, I ate some peanut butter crackers. And then I applied to a bunch of jobs just because it's like, I guess what I do now. I will say, remember like a few... A few months ago, I was like, oh, what's happening now is because of the arguing in Congress and Biden's being a douche, so he's just not upping the, the rates for like two years. They're finally starting to up the rates. It's it's neither here. I don't even give a shit. Data's under a dollar, so I just want to keep getting paid so I can keep making money. Someone called me. Like she keeps calling me just to like hear my voice. It's so annoying because she like woke me up. Just, to, it's just annoying. Um, I think I found out why I'm so sleepy and also well, aside from my new flower vase, which is awesome. I believe also... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just... Repairing damage from mold injuries and all that bullshit. Now look. I think Tiffany is, keeps trying to like trick me into talking on WhatsApp or whatever the fuck. I mean, uh, Snapchat or whatever the fuck. I don't have a Snapchat. You don't understand. Look. The, it's really is just as simple as the, I got into some trouble in 2010. The, the lawyer who got me out of trouble was a state delegate and worked on, had like a special thing for like, his like denouement, actually I got that from my English teacher in ninth grade, but uh, his denouement was uh, uh, going after creepos. And I owed him money. And it just kind of fucking worked out that way. Right. Anyways. Um, oh, yeah. I, I mentioned the web attacks. Kick. Back in, like, 24... You guys, you guys... Like, I don't know Kick. I don't use Kick, but apparently, like, you can hack Kick. And, or at least you used to be able to pretty easily. Specifically with messages, with uh, pictures. Uh... And I'm pretty sure they even did like an example of it one time, how easy it was. But Kick is supposed to be one of those encrypted apps that like everyone uses for like, you know how like everyone today, like before they had OnlyFans, they were like advertised on Kick, right? K-I-K. -K. So do shit like that is basically what it was, right? So believe it or not, the whole reason why I had a Snapchat was because I thought it was odd that I was getting followed by, like, Kathy Ireland and shit like that when I'm just a regular person who works in cyber and all that bullshit and used to do undercover operations and all that bullshit. So I was like, Kathy Ireland's actually a pretty cool person. I'll just say that. But... I was saying all that Ford Prefect bullshit. I was like talking to Blair White and all that bullshit or spamming Blair White on Snapchat because that's, it's called, it's, it's literally like 
it's actually kind of dangerous because they kind of don't even teach you anymore. Buffer overflows. You have to like, allegedly, you have to like, the whole point of doing lots and lots and lots of spammy messages is so you can sneak in like little, 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 little bits of bytes of information. Because that's how you get past like firewalls and, and encryption and, and, and like seam tools and all that. But you get past all the defenses by being sneaky and annoying. Kind of like how Tiffany annoyed the fuck out of me until I eventually just gave in. It's kind of like that, right? Anyways, believe it or not, Blair White checks out. Blair White's a little bit... I don't want to say free-spirited. Blair White's very free-spirited. But Blair White is not a pervert. Blair White is not a child, you know, targeting person. Blair White just has very eccentric tastes and keeps to herself. Sure. That's why I said in that video a while back, like, because of the way she takes care of her body, yes, I would fuck her. I wouldn't date her. But if it came down to it, if I had to, like, run an errand for, like, 30 minutes, right? And I was like, fuck. I, you know, I've got, I'm in charge of some children. And, like, I need someone to watch the children. This is an emergency. I'm going to be gone for, like, 30 minutes. And it was, like, Blair White or, like, you know, like, some crazy person in a wig shouting and yelling, calling to be ma'am and all that bullshit. I would let Blair White watch the kids. I'd Blair. From across the street, I have to run up to the store. The store is on fire and all that bullshit. Just make sure the kids don't do anything stupid. And by the time you come back, they'd all be braiding each other's hair, right? Whereas there's people out there who are actually already in charge of kids where, like, I would never trust them with children, right? Because they're just pervert weirdos, okay? Now bring all that up. Aside from the fact that Tiffany keeps trying to get me to... I don't have a Snapchat. I haven't had a Snapchat because... I, 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 oh yeah, and also, by the way, it turns out that the reason why I was getting supermodels to follow me and all that bullshit was because, the older ones, is because apparently Tiffany is friends with everyone and was trying to get me to open up to every someone else. I opened up to you because you were fooling, we were fooling around while I was drunk, so I opened up to you. Uh, and literally, yes... I, you're, you're, if you don't believe me, you're going to have to just look up buffer overflows. It's just all, like, there's a thing called, oh, fuck. I forgot what it's called. I have to brush up on it. But it's like where you use ping, the ping protocol, to encapsulate payloads. But you got to, like, ping, like, a bajillion times. Like, that's what it is. And you really can't do it anymore because Elon changed everything. You can do it on Instagram, I suppose, but it's still a pain in the ass. Anyways, so, you know that saying, go woke, go broke? Because now, like, I did not, when I, when I tell you, I wasn't paying attention to any of Tiffany's bullshit. I wasn't paying attention to any of Tiffany's bullshit. I didn't know she, I still thought she was Tiffany Wang. I thought she just, like, was some Korean girl in Korea, whatever the fuck, right? I didn't know about I Just Want to Dance. I did not know about Over My Skin. I think it's cute, or at least the one that she put out. But then, like, look. There's some, like, thingy about Tiffany making the rounds about how she supports LGBT. Who cares? That's fantastic. This is the definition of what I was talking about, of how you can be socially liberal and fiscally conservative. How no one cares what you do with your body or who you choose to share it with or all that bullshit, as long as it's consensual and you don't tax them for it. Okay? Tiffany Young, love letter to the LGBT community. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sure, who cares, right? And this one, I got to admit, kind of looks hot, right? This one, I, I don't know what any of this shit means. Come on, just focus.
that looks really hot, if I'm being totally honest. She was probably around the time she was a fucking baby face whore, you stupid crack whore. Anyways. What the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck is this? I don't even want it to show. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's why you're bankrupt, you stupid whore. That is why you're bankrupt. Did you pay for that? Did you honestly pay? So let me get this correct. You spent two years in LA making woke bullshit where you put a bunch of, look, love whoever, whoever you want to love, dress however you want to dress, who gives a fuck? That's why you lost a bunch of money, isn't it? That's why you get like less than a thousand views a month, isn't it? You thought you were going to do some woke bullshit and pander to a whole thingy and you bought hook, lion, sinker into the whole 2018, 2019 woke liberal agenda and you went bankrupt, didn't you? You had a tour. You had a magnetic moon tour during riot season during COVID. You went bankrupt, didn't you? That's why you had a steal for me and my niece, isn't it? Right? You stupid Jerry Asher core. The first one was fine. The first one was hot. Why did you do... If you want to put, like... If, if, if you, like, had to, why didn't you put them in the back? Put them in the background. But they're there. That's just not attractive. That's just not hot. The whole point is to, like, visuals, right? I'm telling you, like, something retarded is going on with California. California is not America. How the fuck do you go galaxy supernova, super hot bitch in a bow, party time, all that bullshit, here, have a shot, here we go. Then you come to L.A. and you, you spent money on that? They didn't pay you to do that. You you paid someone else to do that, didn't you? This is like legitimately what I what I mean when I say shit like like in this day and age, like you like, eh, there's something in the air. Go ahead and just fuck Blair White. You keep on pumping. Just get, get it out of your system. Just don't, just, just don't date her. She's a cool person. Just, just don't date her. Because this is the world we live in. Tiffany, what the fuck are you doing? So you mean to expect me that you want me to think we're soulmates because you've been running around making woke bullshit like that and you have to steal from children. And, and you woke me up for it. Kathy Ireland, thank you very much for following me. I'm actually a little bit sad that that account got banned. It, I am, and I'm almost pretty sure that my brother, oldest brother, who's jealous of me all the time, got it banned. Because for some reason, he started telling everyone that he was my brother around the time you followed me. And pretty much the reason why I never followed you again and I don't expect you to follow me all that bullshit was because it's just going to draw attention whatever I did to 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 get you to follow me I'm glad I did it you are an amazing person all your charity work is great I will tell you exactly what I told Blair White about you and it's actually a quote from the mankind book Mankind is awesome. He was just some dorky dude who married some super uh, uh, hot French, super ass hot French Canadian model. Uh, uh, Kathy Ireland is responsible for some of the hottest, most passionate sexual moments of my life. It is just a shame she wasn't there to share them with me. Damn, Kathy Ireland is still hot. But I told you, like, my family goes out of their way to ruin shit for me. And then, like, every time. Well, I don't want to get into it. I just have the opinion that, like, they get mad because they always try to ostracize me, and then, it, like, I just end up doing awesome shit, like getting Kathy Ireland to follow me. And then my brother ruins it. But, yeah, no, that's... I talked about 
Kathy Ireland to Blair White. Uh, I hacked her phone. I'm pretty sure she figured out that I did that because she like had a live session where she freaked out about some bullshit. Uh, and I just found out that she actually doesn't do anything pervy. And then I'm pretty sure that she found out that she at least got looked into or maybe someone told her because that's around the time she went like super hardcore into like protecting the kids. So yeah, you, you can be a good, like being a good person has nothing to do with like all the other bullshit. And I'm sure on whatever level, those people that Tiffany decided to put in her music video are good people. It's just not attractive, and it's exactly why you went broke, and that's exactly why you have to steal from kids, and that's exactly why I'm mad at you. Like, just like, just like no one cares if Meek Mill wants to. Like, apparently Meek Meek Mill is a Trump fan. I, I don't give a shit. You're still the person who, whether you're involved, w w whether you meant to be involved in it or not, are somehow involved with my niece being stolen from. Like, I don't care about any of this bullshit. I don't care about any of this bullshit. It doesn't have to involve me. I see why you went bankrupt.